Hey everybody! So today I thought that I would kind of introduce you to kind of the gist of who I am. Big nerd, big book lover. So I thought that I would film a book haul video because I went to the bookstore a couple of days ago. So we're just gonna go through the four books that I bought. I spent about $14. I love this bookstore. It's um half price books outlet. There's a chain of um, cheap used bookstores called Half Price Books and if they don't sell at those stores they get marked down even more and sent to this outlet. I think it's the only one I can, in the country. It's in Kentucky. So went there a couple days ago with a friend and I thought that I would kind of do a book haul video and show you what I got and you know express my love for reading and collecting books that I've actually never read before. So I'm really looking forward to this. I hope you guys enjoy. So the first one is The Isle of the Lost. It is a Descendants novel, which is that movie that Disney made. It's, I think this is a prequel to the movie. So essentially they filmed the movie based around the events that supposedly happened after this book. Um, don't quote me on that. I'm not entirely sure if that's the case but I'm pretty sure that's what I heard is that this is kind of a prequel for the movie so I got this one it's four dollars and I also just love the cover artwork I think it's so pretty so I got this one that'll be added to the shelf somewhere let's see Cruise is the last name so it'll end up probably right on top of this one <laughs> so the next one I got is called Need kind of a social media thriller type of book. So essentially there's a social media site where you perform some task and they give you what you need. You request an iPhone, a concert, whatever. You perform some task and your need is fulfilled. So this girl needs a kidney for her brother and all of a sudden the needs are becoming more and more dangerous, more and more, I guess you could say illegal. And so she has to figure out what's going on, who invented it, why in the world it's suddenly becoming, you know, killing people in order to get your needs met instead of the meaningless task beforehand. So I've never read this book, but I was really interested, especially because of the next book that I bought, which is Nerve. I'm very into dystopian sci-fi type of novels, and I watched this movie, and when I found this book, which I actually found on the shelf before this one, when I found this one, it really reminded me of this movie, so that's why I got this one. And the next book that I got, that one was, Need was also $4. And the next one I got was Nerve. So again, I seen this movie, and it was really, really awesome. It's definitely something that I was like, wow, I would really love to read a book about that. So it's another social media thriller. Um, essentially, there's a game where you're either, or an app where you're either a player or a watcher and you have to do whatever the watchers kind of tell you to do. If you're a player, you just do all these daring stunts and all that kind of stuff because the watchers say so. And the goal is basically to get as many watchers as you can, just like any social media site where you want to get followers and likes and all that kind of stuff. The point of this one is to get a lot of watchers and to do more and more dangerous things as a player. So this girl gets roped into it and then she's told that she has to kill somebody and it just gets really out of hand, obviously, as these books do. So that one was one where I bought it because I had watched the movie first, which is not like me. I'm usually definitely a read the book for the movie type of person, but this one I didn't realize there was a book. So I watched the movie and at the end it said it was based on the book, so I'm really happy to have found said book. This one was $2, I believe, so I got that one. This last one is one I'm really, really excited to read, um, Alice's Adventures Underground. So I was really intrigued by this when I picked it up. I bought it without even reading the back of it. <laughs> but essentially, Lewis Carroll wrote this before he wrote Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. But this is kind of like the rough draft copy that wasn't published for a really long time, but recently got published. I think the copyright said 2015. Yeah, copyright 2015. So they released it for the 150th anniversary of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. So it's essentially his original story, I guess you could call it. The one before Alice in Wonderland, even though it's 
the same story. It's just kind of a rough draft, unedited, different title and that kind of stuff. And it has these really, really cool pencil drawings in it that are apparently by, um, they are never before seen pencil drawings from Charles Santor, illustrator Charles Santor. So I'm really excited about this one. I've never read Alice in Wonderland, but it's on my list of, I guess you'd call it classics to read of books that I'm really interested in the stories and I've seen movies based off the stories, but I've never read the books. And so this is one of those where I really want to read the book because I'm super interested. I don't know if you can see I don't think you might be able to. I have Sherlock Holmes up here. I really like that BBC series and all the movies. So I was like, okay, I'll look into reading some Sherlock Holmes books. And then right here is something I bought, I think the last time I went to this same bookstore is Treasure Island. I'm super interested in the story. And so I was like, I'm super interested. I wanna try and actually read the book because generally speaking, the book is always better. So that's just a little introduction to me, to my bookshelf, to the books that I recently bought. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I hope that you come back next time. Probably won't be a book haul, but I hope you come back anyway. Bye.